Okay, in this question, we're given a strange setting. I've got HBr, and I have a 20 mil, or sorry, it, it exists in a concentration in this uh, problem of 0 0.200 molar. And it tells me that I've added 20 milliliters of that. Now, HBr is, of course, going to dissociate one way because it's a strong acid into H plus and bromide, Br minus. It tells me that also in the solution, I have added, um, <clears throat> or I'm titrating it with sodium hydroxide. So I'm adding sodium hydroxide. The concentration of sodium hydroxide is also 0 0.200 molar. Now, it then asks me to calculate the pH of the solution after the following volumes of base have been added. 15 milliliters, this will be part A. And part B is after we've added 35 milliliters. So first things first, we need to determine how many moles of HBr, and by extension, how many moles of H plus there are in 20 milliliters of this concentration of HBr. Once we figure out how many moles of that there are, we can then figure out how many moles of NaOH we've added, and then see how much of that H plus is going to get canceled out by the sodium hydroxide. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and write down 20 milliliters. And I want to get that into liters because molar is units of moles per liter, which you should remember from uh, elsewhere. <clears throat> so I have milliliters in the denominator, liters in the numerator. There's one liter for every 1,000 milliliters, so the milliliters cancel out. Then I want to put another set of brackets. I'll go ahead and put uh, liters in the denominator because I want to cancel out the liters in the numerator, moles in the numerator. And I'll go ahead and put 0 0.200 moles in one liter. The liters then will cancel each other out, the milliliters will cancel each other out, and I'll end up getting a total number of moles of HBr that have been added when I take 20 milliliters of this concentration of HBr and throw it into solution. That final number comes out to be 0 0.004 moles of HBr. Now, because the moles of HBr are present in a 1 to 1 to 1 ratio relative to, the, to these ions out here, I can, by extension, just say that this is going to give out 0 0.004 moles of H+. Plus. So that's how many moles of H+, plus we've added to the system. Now we're going to take a look at our sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is going to dissociate to form uh, hydroxide, OH- and sodium. Every time I release an OH-, it is going to neutralize an H+. Plus. So OH- attacks H+, plus, they combine to form neutral water. So in part A, once again, <clears throat> it tells us that we've added 15 milliliters of our sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide concentration is 0 0.200 molar or 0 0.200 moles per liter. Same thing. I've added 15 milliliters. So how many moles of hydroxide is that going to correlate with? Well, I'll go ahead and do the math here. So 15 milliliters. I need to write a set of brackets. I'll put milliliters in the denominator to cancel out that. Liters in the numerator. Another set of brackets. Liters in the denominator to cancel out that moles in the numerator. So, 15 milliliters, yeah, so let's go ahead and put some numbers. One liter has a thousand milliliters in it, and for this particular solution I have 0 0.200 moles of my sodium hydroxide in one liter. Liters cancel each other out, mils cancel each other out, and I end up getting a final uh, number of 0 0.003 moles of sodium hydroxide. Now much like our HBr setting up here, Sodium hydroxide dissociates in a 1 to 1 to 1 ratio with these ions, which means, by extension, that this is going to spit out 0.003 moles of OH- or moles of hydroxide. So I'm starting out with 0.004 moles of H plus from my HBr, and I've added 0.003 moles of hydroxide. Each of those moles of hydroxide is going to cancel out a corresponding number of moles of H plus. Which one of these two is a bigger number? H plus or OH minus? Well, H plus is a bigger number. So after you're all done with this OH minus, all this OH minus is going to go towards killing as much of the H plus as it possibly can, and then whatever is left over will contribute to affecting the pH. Which one is in excess? Well, of course, it's the H plus, by, but by how much? Well, I'll go ahead and take 0 0.004 and subtract from it 0 0.003. 0 0.004 subtract 0 0.003 is 0 0.001. So after this is done attacking this, I have left 0 0.001 moles of H+. Now, what is the final volume of that? Well, I've added in this scenario 20 milliliters of HBr and 15 milliliters of sodium hydroxide when we're all done. So when it's all said and done, the final volume 
is 20 milliliters plus 15 milliliters, which comes to 35 milliliters, which is the same thing as 0 0.035 liters. So I have 0 0.001 moles of H plus in 0 0.035 liters. That is the final amount of H plus moles per liter. I throw that into my calculator and get a final concentration of H plus as being 0 0.0257. So that is my final concentration of H+. Hopefully you're okay with that. Why in the world do I want that final concentration of H+, well the reason is because I want the pH. And pH is going to be equal always to negative log of the concentration of H+. Or in this case, negative log of 0 0.02857. You throw that into your calculator, and that should give you the final answer to this question. Now we'll do part B. In part B, We've got a little bit different scenario. I've added 35 milliliters instead of 15 milliliters of my sodium hydroxide. So I'm going to throw 35 milliliters into this lineup. When I'm all done, that's going to give me a different final number for moles of sodium hydroxide. That final number ends up coming to 0 0.007 moles of hydroxide, or sorry, of sodium hydroxide, which by extension is going to correlate with 0 0.007 moles of OH minus hydroxide. Good? Good. Which of these two numbers is bigger? The number of moles of hydroxide or the number of moles of H plus? Well, yeah, the number of moles of hydroxide is larger. So they're going to consume all of the moles of H plus and then whatever is left is going to be a bunch of excess hydroxide that will affect the final pH. How much is going to be left? Well, I'm going to figure that out by taking this larger number, point 0, 0, 007 and subtracting from the smaller number, 0, 0, 0.004. That, of course, comes to 0, 0, 0.003. So when it's all said and done, these 0, 0, 0.007 moles of hydroxide cancel out all of the moles of H+, and we have left 0, 0, 0.003 moles of hydroxide. In this scenario, part B, what is the final volume? Well, the final volume is, I had 20 milliliters of HBr and I've added to it 35 milliliters of this sodium hydroxide solution. So the final uh, volume in this case is going to end up being 55 milliliters, which is the same thing as 0 0.055 liters. Hopefully you're okay with that. So I've got 0 0.003 moles of hydroxide left and a total volume of 0 0.055 liters. I do the math to figure out the final concentration of hydroxide in moles per liter, and that ends up coming to 0 0.05454 uh, mole, well, yeah, molar hydroxide. So that is, and I'll cross this nonsense out here, it doesn't apply. That is my final concentration of hydroxide. Why in the world do I want to know that? Well, I of course want to know the pH. I can't calculate pH directly from mole, uh, the concentration of hydroxide, but what I can do is calculate the pOH. The pOH is the negative log of the concentration of hydroxide. Or better said, in this case, it's going to be the negative log of 0 0.05454. I throw that into my calculator, and I end up getting a pOH of 1.26. Now, that doesn't tell me what the pH is. How can I figure out what the pH is? Well, I have to remember that pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Because I've got my pOH, 1.26, I can plug that in right there and then solve algebraically for pH. If you do that, that should give you your final answer and your final pH in part B.